still here how you order books on amazon you go on to type amazon.com amazon.com it will take you to a page like this and then you would search for the name of the author of the book or the title of the book that you want to order that you want to buy that you want to purchase you keep type it under the search bar like this and then uh, make sure you have even if you don't have the correct name make sure you have the correct name but even if you don't have the correct name you will see some suggestions or related names you go on to click the search um, icon where it will search and take you to the uh, to the page of the books once you're able to find the books you click on it you know you go around to see is this the book is this the author you can read more details to click on the book to see more details that um, you have from the book the pricing is there the title of the book a short description is there the date the pages the language and the likes once you are sure you click on add to cart when you click on add to cart like a basket that is up there you will see that there's added to cart written you know written there and then on the basket it is there you click proceed to check out you don't have accounts with amazon you have to um create an account or open an account with them so if you don't have an account you will create an amazon account if you have an account you sign in if you create an account and then you want to come back to buy whatever you want to buy you sign in from there so creating an account you need your name and then you need your mobile number or email address you need to create password your password must be at least six characters and then you need to re-enter the password when you re-enter the password to ask you to verify your email a message has been sent to your email for verification and further process once that has been done you go back to order the books but don't forget you create the password that you can remember and then you re-enter the password so once you click on to verify email to take you to your email that you have entered and then you'll be able to um, follow the prompt and verify your email like i said you go back to the page and then when you go back to the amazon page where you want to order the book just sign in because you have been added to the site so you sign in and then after signing in again you know put in your password you put in your password you should have registered your email address put in your password and then you sign in so when you sign in like that you have um, access to your cart like i said it's like a shopping cart a basket there how many books or how many items you have is there just click on it to take you back to those things you have ordered especially the book the subtotal of the item if it is one two three four and then you see the quantity if it is one to ten plus you know and above of the book you want to buy you see the total amount of the money and then you proceed to check out so you click on proceed to check out you don't have to check out one by one if you have many products that you are buying at once it's better you have them shipped at once so you proceed to check out when you get to the checkout page you will see your shipping address there you can edit it you can change it i'm very sure you choose your payment method your card you can choose your card and other payment method available to you as you can see you see your order summary there you see the total number the shipping and handling fees you see the total before tax you see the estimate tax to be decided once you are comfortable with it you use the payment method your money will be deducted and then you see the message that your order has been successful and in your email you'll be given an order number you will see the email that will come um email message that you get in your inbox your email inbox which would help you to process or um, record your order so you'll be expecting your book as it is